Keith, how'd you kind of assess the morning? A little bit of a crazy morning there, especially the weather early on. It was definitely, uh, it, the wind wasn't as bad as we expected, but the rain picked up. We had to get some squeegees on the greens. And, you know, 14 was completely unreachable. I think it had driver three wood and had 80 yards into the green, and some of the guys were hitting low irons in and two yesterday. So that um, still had a good hole. Um, and 13, same way, I was hitting five iron into that back green, uh, back pin, excuse me. But all in all, pleased with how I did, except really one shot on um, 17. I hit a poor seven iron into the, get plugged into the bunker, couldn't get it up and down. I um, really wish I could trade with Josh on 17, 18. He made a gross three and four, so beat me by two in the last two. I can't hear it, sir. Did you, uh, were you plugged on 17? Well, yeah, my ball plugged in the bunker, so it's tough to get up and down and hit it back over. But, um, you know, I've, I had a lot of good up and downs yesterday, so occasionally you get unlucky and, um, you know, you make bogey, so it's just golf. As weird as this week is, and I, I hate to call it a sprint now since we're over two days, but What's the feeling like of everybody finally being on the same course, roughly same conditions? Um, you, I mean, you've had some funny weather draws this week. Is there anything comforting about that? Everybody has. You know, there's three different courses and time changes, and uh, it's it's just the beauty of Pebble Beach golf, right? Sometimes you get perfectly sunny and no wind, and then 15 minutes later it's blowing 40 and raining. So. Just depending on where you were in the wave and what part of the peninsula you were on, uh, just kind of uh, how your cards fell. So this afternoon's definitely going to be good. Everybody's excited because we'll all be together. You'll be able to know what the leaders are doing, scoreboards. Um, it's definitely going to be um, just a little bit more uh, consistent, predictable, I would say. How far, how far off the lead uh, were you on the pro-am side of it? I think Josh and I won. Um, Aaron Rodgers doesn't count. Uh, his his handicap was crap. So I, I haven't looked. I think we were on 18. We might have been up there. But if if uh, if we finish second to Aaron, I consider us winning the trophy. I know you you know you got the hand you're dealt. But is there any part of you that's bummed that you don't have the traditional Sunday? I'm sorry. Is there any part of you that's bummed that you don't have a traditional Sunday with a with an amateur who's Oh, absolutely. I, I really wish we could continue the fun and uh, playing with Josh was awesome. And it's it, it does stink, but you know now it's just like another tournament. So we're used to it. It's what it's what we do. It's uh, every weekend and week out. This is the exception for this week. So um, we're ready. You opened with a really strong round of uh, spyglass. Did you feel like from that point that you were in contention? Definitely. Was pleased to get around with a good score at Spy. Um, the weather kind of switched on us a little bit at Pebble out here, though. So actually, Spy Glass was probably the easier place to play when the wind. But you know, long story short, it just it doesn't matter. It's just whoever wins or has, has the lowest score after 72 holes wins. When did that start? <laughs> I think we're good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.